bitches, every city in my tribe. Uh, look, 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 look behind. Booty dominate the world, peaches ripe. What do you mean? When you, you so, when you think of this culture, you think of it as a pyramid, and each pyramid has a certain step. You start with normalization, you start with victimization, then it goes into violence, and one level essentially supports the other. I mean, do you believe there's such a thing as virginity? As what? Virginity. Do I, do I believe in virginity? Yeah. Like, do I believe people are virgins? Is that a, a medical or scientific or, term? I'm not sure what, what you're asking. If, if you're asking if I believe if people are virgins still, yes. If you're asking if I think if you're a virgin, you're a better person than if someone who's not a virgin, then no. Well, the, the whole concept of virginity, I mean, can you tell me, see, Unleashed, I'm so glad you brought that up. The hymen is intact. That's actually a complete myth. The hymen can break well before someone has sex. And the hymen is actually designed to keep feces out of the vagina when children are young. So it's not an indicator of virginity. And... The reason that purity culture upholds virginity is because it equivocates a value when it comes to women. And it's become a really fetishized thing of men that virgins are pure and are the best. So I don't think just because someone's a virgin means they're better than someone who's a virgin and like you can be an asshole whether you have sex or not. What? That that has that's not what I'm talking about at all. Do you know there's still hymen tests that are performed in today's society? Yeah. So what well, well, you said like describe virginity and I kinda asked you like what you meant by that. I asked you if it was a medical or scientific term. Um, I, I don't, well, you said like, like, I'm assuming you're, you're right when you say, like, I think it's more of a, like a, like, and I didn't, I don't know the right term, but like, I, I haven't had sex with anybody's term. So I don't know what you would call that. It's essentially just a social construct. It's typically a cultural yeah. and religious construct as well. Well, I mean, if somebody's like a virgin, we would say that they haven't had sex. Right. What What do you call someone who has never flown a plane? Someone who's not a pilot, or well, I don't so, know. So not a pilot. Like, well, huh? someone could have flown a plane. But someone could have flown. Right, a plane. but what do you call them? Do we have a word for that? No. Do we have a word for anything that we have not experienced other than sex? No, but when you talk about sex, it's like. Totally. Then why? Then why do we have one for sex? Because it's a totally different issue altogether. Like, there's no level of physical, like, emotional, chemical, physical, like, connection than sex. So there's what? like no other. Well, there's no other situation like sex, though. I, I feel you could say that about anything. Like, there's no, nothing analogous to flying a plane. 
<laughs> I mean, what? So, I mean, so just because we don't have a word for it, I mean, I, I don't understand. I, I'm just highlighting to you the cultural importance that people have placed on virginity as, as if it is a virtuous thing, as if it is a intrinsic part of your identity. And this really upholds a lot of ideology when it comes to purity culture and rape culture that are very similar. Such as? Like the hymen myth. Um, I asked you, do you know that hymen exams, uh, virginity exams are still done in the United States? And you said yes. Like, do you know what that is? So, oh, in the United States, I don't know. But like, so I don't, I don't know, but like, People who quote unquote sell their virginity, like people, like I'm, I assume, like doctors do like tests on and stuff like that, but like I don't see right. What would be so the I, medical purpose of that? Of I, I assume, like to prove that she's never had sex with anybody, but like I said, just told if, you that if, the hymen being intact doesn't, doesn't prove that. Right. But so, and that's why I said, like, I don't know. And you said, so, like, what does it mean when someone says they're a virgin? I say it's someone who hasn't had sex with anybody. Right. So, essentially, what I'm trying to highlight is the fundamental value placed on virginity and essentially how that still is imposed upon women in a very violating way. So when someone to do a virginity test performed by a doctor, number one, it doesn't uphold anything, but number two, what's the point? If we're not going to take her own prescribed testimony on if she's had sex or not, because I could see the uh, reasoning for getting STD testing, or pregnancy testing in that case is, but to check for it, what medical purpose does that serve other than a cultural? So I don't, but I mean, I don't know, like that's not commonplace though. What? Is that commonplace? You, did, did you just say it was not and then reframe it and ask me it is, if it is, is a question? Yeah, is it commonplace? Like, I've never heard pe like people asking for virginity checks. Yeah, they still perform them in the United States. Who does? I believe it's uh thirty percent of gynecologists are asked to perform one, typically by husbands or parents. In the United States, do you have a source for that? I do. Okay. What's that source? I'm not saying I don't believe you. I, I just... I've just okay. never heard of it. I would be happy to send it to you. Okay, so from, like from what I understand, like for those those checks, it's like when, which I'm probably completely ignorant because I'm not a woman and like I have like, I never had any experience with this. So, um, like from can you, can you tell me like what happens like when? Why? What What do you want? To know about this topic because it feels like you have an opinion when you don't have an education no so so like when when the quote unquote cherry is popped right so um so is that like the vir virginity check is like when the hymen, like the hymen is 
like removed or like a certain part of it is see that's why like I, I'm not educated on this, so I don't know like exactly what happens. Which is why you're saying about the virginity check or whatever. So what does that entail? Just to see if the hymen is intact? Yes. So the first time someone has sex is like what's so their hymen like it rips? Everyone is different. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, like, I, I don't know because I'm, like I said, I'm not, I don't have any experience on this. So I don't know, like the, the virginity check right. you're talking so about. The, the whole point that I am trying to make is that these tests are still performed on women, typically at the request of parents or husbands, because this is, again, still a value that is placed on women to essentially oh, where a oh. lot of cultures and religions have fetishized virginity because oh, it's sorry, what sorry. pure women are. So, sorry to interrupt. I didn't know if that... So... Is that like, um, is that like a hy hygienic issue or just like a confirmation? A hygienic issue? issue? Yeah. What does no, that like, mean? So, like I said, I'm very ignorant and uneducated. Yeah, I, I, I think you I, really should go do research on your own because I, like, I, I can't explain this stuff to you. Okay, so, so we can we can get off this topic because it's going out of a, a weird rabbit hole. But like the point is, I I I think I don't see what's wrong with like dressing, quote unquote, like modestly. I don't see that as a negative, and I don't think that I feel like it. Like, it is up to what she wants to do. I'm not saying it is the act itself that dressing modestly is immoral. I'm saying so that a woman should be allowed to dress however she wants, and it does not reflect the quality of her character. Right, but I'm saying it does not help it either. So wouldn't you want something to... No, dude, you just, so, just just say you don't respect women. Like, it would really make this so much easier. So, so, so you can, you can say that, but that doesn't make it. Oh, thank you. You can say that, but it doesn't make it true. Yes, it does. Was that you said? <laughs> I'm so fucking cute, bitch.